Hey guys, it's uh, me again, and I'm going to show you how to animate a border in Photoshop. Well, Photoshop in Vegas. Uh, this is the way I like to do it. So, um, here I have, well, I've just mocked up a copy of Grizz's border. You've got the different layers here. If I get rid of them all, I can show you, go through and show you. So, yeah, on the bottom, we just have a background. Then we have these little red bits at the side. I don't know what they're meant to be, really. And, um,. Okay, this is the bit where you animate. So you have your it's a Grizz text here. And um, in the actual montage, there's a impulse thing in the top left. But what I want it to do is I want it to fade to uh, Bonix, and then I want it to fade to Operator Perry, and then I want it to go back to Impulse. So to do that, um, you need to save a file three times. You need to save it once with Impulse, once with Bonix and once with Operator Perry, and uh, you've got to save it as a PNG. So if you've forgotten how to do that, I'll show you now. So you, you make sure you no know, impulse is visible. File, save as. And let my computer load. You know it's worked hard today. <laughs> and uh, I've saved it in an animation tutorial. Um, you need to go down to PNG. This one right here, and. Um, yeah, impulse. That's this one. I'm gonna click save. I've already done it, but yeah, make sure it's interlaced. This is the important bit. It needs to be interlaced. So when you've done that, hit OK. So let's save. <laughs> all right, okay, so that's all you have to do in Photoshop. You've got to get your design, and you've got to make sure you saved it. You know, with what how what you want it to change to. So yeah, I want it to go from. I'll go through this again. Impulse. And I want, then I want it to change to Ebonics, and then I want it to change to Operator Perry. Okay? Do you kind of get that? If you don't, um, what, listen through to what I said again. Um, I'll try to just minimize this. I might want to save it, you never know. Yeah, and this is the, I don't know if you can see this here, but yeah, it's for the actual design for Grizz's montage. It looks quite similar, which is quite good. Ah, smoky slips. Okay. Right, so when we get into Vegas, now this, is, this bit's more complicated, but so we need to go to file new and uh, get your settings I just, I'm just i just going to do uh, NTSC DV widescreen and then just hit OK okay so then we get our nice you know box in the top right corner um, we're going to go to well, where you saved your file you know the uh, borders you just made which is you know you're thinking how, how are we going to animate this but I'll show you right now so right here are your, here are your different borders oh message from YouTube there's one two three and um, we want them all to go into Vegas so click on one and then shift click on the one on the far side and drag it in and, and all right, there it is it's in um, you may notice that it doesn't fit in quite right so just make it fit it's gonna stretch it out a bit but this isn't you know it's not a real montage it's not gonna matter people aren't gonna come shoot me if I get it wrong so yeah, uh, right. So they, you, you know you've got impulse one, operator Perry, and then a Bonix. So if if you this this is the easy way to animate it. So if you just click and drag, so the two clips are over each other, and do it on all of them, and you go back. I'll put this on yeah, preview half, and then press play. So go through, and it's gonna fade through, fade through. So. In a way, it looks like it's been animated, but it hasn't really. It's a little trick which um, I've used for Shooter. So yeah, I think that pretty much concludes it. I'll put a bit of footage underneath if I can. All right, I'll take this one here. What, what clips have, have you seen, or what ones haven't you seen? Um, let's give you a. Uh, right, you're probably screaming, saying, "Choose that one, choose that one." I'm just gonna go through a for a quad. Actually, this isn't a quad, it's a triple. I'm just stupid. So, um, yeah, you see these has got these bits at the side. If you just go on this, on event pan crop, 16 to 9, it just, yeah, cuts out the bits at the side, which is always, always good. That's if I play it from the beginning. There you have it. So you're running through, and uh, Operator Perry, Abonics is all animated. <laughs> And you have these lovely little red bits in the corner, and it all looks nice. Um, 
I've been recording for a few minutes, so I think that pretty much concludes it. I'll, I'll just give you, show you something, something else cool to do with um, this little overlap here. So I'll show you how to do like a little custom transition. So yeah, overlap it for a second and um, go to video effects. Oh, if I can find it. Uh, <laughs> great, I can't even find it. Seriously, where has it gone? I, I know what effects I'm looking for. Uh, linear burn, that's the one. And then just press um, reset to none. If you don't have it, then unlucky. Yeah, and then drag across until as you know, you've just got to the crossover. And then just put a new clip. And then put the amount to full. You can do this with pretty much anything, so like Gaussian blur or whatever. So when it goes through, it kind of flicks outwards. Or well, flicks it. I don't know what you want to call it, but you can probably see. I just duplicate these. Control C, Control V works on most programs. And just fade it out like three seconds. I don't care. I'll get it to fade in as well. I'll put this clip at the uh, end of the video so you can just see, but it's quite easy to do. So you start from the beginning, you know, fades in. Run through. You can probably hear it going from my speakers. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter. So yeah, it gets a triple. Yeah, and then you get your little custom transition. Flicks across. Kill, kill. I can tell you can hear us through my speakers. I'm going to talk louder. You just try to change the one X and then it fades out. So there you go. There you have it. You know, fade out the audio, whatever you want to do. But yeah, there you have it. That's, in a nutshell, how, how to animate a border. It's really simple, isn't it? You'd think it's going to be a lot harder, but there you go. Uh, how that is, this is crazy, and this is how to animate a border and do a little custom transition. Hope you enjoyed. Hopefully, see you again soon in another uh, in another uh, tutorial. Bye. Capture the objective. Securing Charlie. UAV recon standing by. Securing C. Our UAV is online. UAV recon standing by. Airstrike standing by.